G Wiz has got notes this week. I have notes. Oh, did you think I was going to put him on the list? Oh, no, 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 no. Roman Reigns, you don't deserve to be on the list. As a matter of fact, nobody here in this arena tonight is worthy of being on my list. Welcome to Wrestling's High Marks, the highest podcast ever. I've got one question for everybody here tonight. You got a joint? Yes! 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 All right, all right, all right. I'm gonna get you high today. Awesome! My grandma drank all my pot. Oh, no! I'm pregnant! Oh, 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 no. No way, man. Wrestling's High Marks, episode 27. I'm... One of your hosts, Cheese Man, joined along with Mojo and G Wiz. And if you're joining us, thank you for putting yourself through this shit again. <laughs> <You're> right. <laughs> it's actually a pretty good week in wrestling, and I uh, checked out some new stuff. So, uh, well, G Wiz has got notes this week. I have notes because we're at my no. house, and so there's no way I'm not going to remember to bring my notes to my own place. So me and Mojo have pretty much given up on notes. So now, like, if G Wiz don't have his, it's like, well, okay, well, yeah, we'll just totally pull everything from it. memory. Fuck yeah. it. Free will. Totally <laughs> winging it. Of course, even if we do that, we still don't mention Roman Reigns. Check that out. <laughs> Let's start with... Unless it's just like, fucking give him a shitty fucking push. The crappiest not push, member but a of the shield. Shot. You know who we're talking about. Yeah, he's a member, all right. <laughs> <laughs> a throbbing member. <laughs> That's how fucking Vince sees Roman, it. it's time to play some pinball. <laughs> There's Roman, I got a throbbing member. <laughs> Put him in there. <laughs> release, damn it. Release. Okay. It. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, I, we usually try to kind of start the show with the big news of the week, but we could kind of join that in with Bomb for Glory because the big news of the week is probably the Austin Aries stuff, I would think. Yeah, that's just a fucking angle. Like, I had heard that. His contract was up, and that was the last thing. But I don't think it's legit. I think it's work. P.D. Williams, I heard, actually works backstage with TNA. He's a producer. In one he Peter Williams had <laughs> said one on his Peter podcast, J. Williams, <laughs> that in fact, Aries' contract was up. But yeah. he had no idea They're, I, claiming that what Aries' plans were. Well, it's like everything got personal between Aries and Johnny Impact leading up to it. Like, over, it like became public and shit. They had a fucking brawl at the fucking uh, press conference or whatever and you know, all that bullshit. Right after it's uh, kinda, Johnny and Taya went on TMZ. And, yeah, and now his contract's up, and that was his last match. Well, it all looks like it worked to me. Exactly. And especially, like, I, I, I've been burned before. I must feel like Impact <laughs> wants to make I mean? him their CM Punk or some shit. Like, I know we're going to CM Punk him. <laughs> and I'm like, I don't know. I, I, I don't know if he just, like, needs a break or whatever. I think he'll be back. Yeah. There's too much money there now. I mean, people are going to be... Wanting to check out that rematch, you know. Yeah, well, fuck, let's run down the list of the show, the pay per view. What were the matches? Run down the list. Well, run down the match list, I guess. It opened up with Matt Seidel and Ethan Page versus the Mac and Rich Swan. And I was the one, only one that got this one right. You were. <sighs> the Mac and Rich Swan pick up the win. It was. Oh yeah. Pretty <laughs> good I match. I was. Yeah, G Wiz talked you into it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I talked you into it because I thought they would cheat was, to a victory. Yeah, you like even said as much cheat. in the last episode. You know, you talked me into it. <laughs> so after the match, the Mac cuts basically a commercial. Yeah, that was <laughs> weak. Commercial for one of their sponsors, and I was a little let down by that. I was a little let down that Matt Seidel keeps coming out and pointing to his four. Yeah, I can't stand this really gimmick. That really is a weird, not catchy <laughs> gimmick that isn't working for me. He's know? like a fucking. Dark-haired, less over Dolph Ziggler. 
Fuck. He looks just. Oh my like god! A... <laughs> not, not, I can't not see that now. You're exactly right. Wow, he's like his little brother or something. Yeah, no shit. <laughs> Dolph's little brother's in uh, Impact. Man. He's the 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 even less successful fucking member of the Spirit Squad. <laughs> <laughs> Up next, we get the Eli Drake Open Challenge, which is one of the things I was kind of looking forward to because it's usually a good comedy spot. But yep. fucking Ellsworth. I believe we all picked Eli Drake to win this. Well, sure, and and who did? Him, I, our, well, because I wouldn't call that other part a match. Yeah, the second Ellsworth part wasn't a match. Comes out, the crowd hates him to death. He tries everything in his power to get over by making Which a bunch is of New York. Funny because the WWE work. audience loves the guy. Oh god! Come on, Impact! Like, oh, get the fuck out of here right, with this it shit! Was like. It was like a talking pile of shit was there, and you want. I think it's probably just disappointment. They're like, "God damn it, this is like the biggest pay per view for that promotion of the fucking year," and you come out with Ellsworth as the surprise contestant. What the fuck? So of course Eli wins, but Ellsworth does get a little offense in, which pissed me off. He (laughs) landed a single move. Seriously, but he did get a few moves in. Uh, after which Eli complains about the talent level, which was a mistake because they send out Hall of Famer. Yeah, he, to, he did say he wanted like ho- Hall of Fame material or something like that. And when like, he so said he that, said I was like, up. fuck. Yeah, it's I know. It's going to be fucking Abyss because that's uh, all here we go. Yep, and sure as shit, he comes out and fucking basically kills him. Up next, Taya versus Tessa. I don't think anybody got this one wrong. No, we all picked Tessa. He's the one. That Although we it actually looked, all agreed on, I think this is the only one that. No, we all agreed that Eli was going to win his match too. Sure, sure. Oh yeah. Uh, they put Taya over pretty big, probably because yeah. of all the drama they have to give her some. They made it look like Taya was going to win there for yeah, a second. Yeah, they really did. Which makes me believe they're going to have a rematch, and eventually Taya's going to take that title from her. Pretty cool match, a little slower than I thought it was going to be. That's not a criticism. It's just I kind of expected them two to be throwing down. Yeah. And uh, they did blow a couple spots, but sometimes I let things slide when <laughs> right. there are a couple of cuties that really know how to work it. <laughs> Dude, Taya Valkyrie's got possibly my favorite body in the company. Fucking A. Boy, I'll say. And fuck you, Austin Aries, for hating. Damn. No shit. My only beef is like the fucking million braids she's got. In her head. I don't oh. like that either, man. <laughs> you and me are <laughs> simpatico, my friend. That couldn't be more true, especially if you see her on Instagram or Twitter and she's got her hair down and it's all straight. Yeah, dude, I want her with hair down and maybe with some red streak highlights or something like that. Give me some of that. Anyway, Johnny, I can't believe her real up. fucking name though was Kira Renee. Yeah, that's for me. That's, that's fucking crazy. Us, yes. A few of us understand that. Let's just say that someone in the room has an ex that might be named something similar to that. <laughs> yeah. Something, Something very, very similar. similar. <laughs> like, oh. exact spelling. <laughs> <laughs> oh, not good, man. Not good. Nice. Okay. <coughs> Up next, Moose. <coughs> A.K.A. Moose Money. Uh, versus Eddie Edwards. What's up with that dude? Is he going through an identity crisis? I don't know. He can't make his mind up. It's on like last... Can he? I the first time I seen him... The me remember what I picked <laughs> on this one. Well... See, the first time I seen the dude, he was, like, holding Eddie Edwards' old lady hostage, and he was dressed like fucking closeted gay biker. From and the, I didn't the, recognize the, him, because I had seen him the previous week, and he just looked like a badass wrestler guy. Yeah. And then now this he, week, he's... To the point where I green. skipped the segment and didn't even know who it was. Right. I embarrassed myself because of that, because <laughs> I sounded like an idiot. I'm like, oh, I know who Moose is. Wait, hold on. That's uh, Moose, you know? That's, yeah. uh, that's not what he does. Oh, fuck. Apparently, he's just all over with his character now. He's cause... a fucking Shaolin monk now. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Like I said, <laughs> looks like he tr- st- stole something out of CeeLo Green's <laughs> closet. Mm. I think he's crazy. Uh, <coughs> Sorry. Um, Let's see. I-, I picked Eddie Edwards in this. Well, really, and... there's no... Well, I guess technically... Well, okay. This match evolves into a different match is what I'm getting at. Yeah, I didn't know how Eddie to score Edwards this one. lands a move, grabs a kendo stick, Killer Cross immediately interferes, lost by DQ, out comes Tommy Dreamer to the rescue, and it becomes a tag match. So at that point, you know, whoever chose Eddie Edwards, which I don't think was me, wins still technically. Yeah. This team of I Eddie think I just Edwards. didn't even count that match. But yeah, I know I picked Eddie. <laughs> That match had tons of no selling. I'm like, well, why are you guys even out here doing this if you're not gonna like do the other half? You know what I mean? But okay, 
uh, <laughs> schoolboy for the win. <coughs> Edwards rolls up Moose. Uh, crossing Moose, whoop on Moose. Edwards after the match. I'm not sure where that lands us, but up next, probably the match of the night. Unless anyone would argue uh, it. Was this um, OVE, OVE versus O-R-O Pentagon Jr., Brian Cage, and quote, the Mexican Phoenix. So how many names does he got now? This is fun. <laughs> the man of many names. Uh, Cage appears to have a leg injury at the beginning of the match. His leg's all taped up. Yep. Uh, they made a big note of that, actually, the following week on Impact. Uh, Ray but, Phoenix is fucking amazing. He's doing dude, some oh my God. springboard headbutts. Dude, which, yeah. Springboard three headbutts. He does <clears throat> three different variations of a springboard was headbutt. That from Bound to Yeah, that was Bound for Glory. The mm-hmm. gif that you see of him running up the ramp. Oh, no, that no, wasn't Bound for Glory. I'm I not thought sure what it that was. was, but it's not. Nope. Yeah, that uh, was, match was fucking phenomenal. Like, everybody All those did headbutts great. were amazing. Uh, let me just... R- I have a little bit of comedy oh. here, and then I can be done talking for a minute. After the headbutts, uh, Ray goes off the ropes and Callahan hits him with a crazy DDT. Uh, Then uh, up next, Callahan jumps off the ropes. Cage catches him and powerbomb to the apron, which was intense. Then Cage catches one of the Christs. I don't know their names real good yet. Jake and Dave. In suplex position. Catches him in suplex position. Uh, Cage eats a ring post way too hard, and Callahan and he have a little discussion on the ground afterwards uh-huh. about how much he liked it. <laughs> and it was at that point I just quit writing shit down because, like, every time I had to stop to write shit down, two or three more amazing things would happen. So I don't have any more specific notes. No, I just remember. And all that was like in the first few minutes of the match, and after that, it was still this crazy town for another like twenty minutes or something. It was an awesome match. Yeah, I just remember that ending. Yeah, and everything repeated. Super kick as Brian Cage is on his knees. It was cool, but at the same time, I hated the no sell. There was one really bad spot where they try to cut her off the top rope oh, and it yeah. becomes just something where yeah, she Jake, land. Jake Chris tried to do the cutter on the Phoenix while Phoenix was on top of Pentagon's shoulders and like Jake had to pull up short because <laughs> otherwise he would have landed right on Dave because Dave didn't get the fuck out the way. It did not go well at And all. it just kind of ruined the whole spot. Mm-hmm. Crowd did uh, let him know too with the whole uh, immediate you, you fucked, fucked up! up a bunch you of fucked times. up! Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> And yeah, Cage takes, what, 25 or 30 head kicks? After fucking... Oh, wait, it was like 30, 25, 30 head kicks, then they fucking hit him with the... Whatever their special move is, the, with the fucking cutter. Sammy fucking throws Jake up, and he fucking pulls him off of Dave's shoulders and hits him with a cutter, and he kicks out of that, and then Sammy fucking plants him with a ruthless Nasty fucking pile driver. Pile driver. And he finally... To, gets to, the to, one, two, three. And that's his first loss ever in Impact. Which so, is crazy because he's been there for years. I guess. Which I find out. If you're going to end a streak, I guess uh, 25 to 30 head kicks and then a <laughs> whatever the other move was and then a nasty power driver is the way to do it. Yep. Now, I do remember that only one of us, and I don't remember who other than not me, actually picked OV. No, you picked it. You were the only one to pick OVE, I think. Was I? I know that only no, one of us did. I know it wasn't me. Maybe it was me. Wow, because we're Sammy great Callahan. at this job. Yeah. See, that's why I asked if we had a list. Anyway. Whatever. All that matters is, in the end, I won. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I know that. Almost all of mine were I, I know that much for sure. All I know is, in the end, Four. I won. That was good shit. All right. Uh, Thank you, Tessa. Mm. Just a fantastic match. Up next, LAX versus OGs with King. This was another rough-ass match. Uh, Conan will not be participating. Hint, hint. Wink, wink. I don't know that I've ever seen a match where they had the boards just laid out like that. Concrete jungle death match. No pads on the ring or the turnbuckles just the, wood playing the fucking boards are sliding around and shit ever i thought someone was gonna die and break an ankle or some shit and then lax comes out with 29 rappers who jump all around the ring on the boards and mess all the boards up and that's when they get to start sliding around yep, yep. and whose kid was that that was being the referee for that? 
He looked like oh a 13 God, year old, 14 year old kid. No, I know who <laughs> you mean there. too, and I don't know, but he did look younger than fucking shit. Was it dude. Nicholas? <laughs> <laughs> Nicholas is legal. <laughs> Nicholas is legal. <laughs> oh, shout referee. out to Burbs. <laughs> shout to Burbs. Uh, that match was fucking nuts. Every move looked painful as fuck because there ain't no fucking. Uh, yeah. Pain. So and when they were going over the rope and quote unquote landing on the quote unquote apron that was non existent, they had to like hold on for dear life onto those ropes. And yeah. Die. All right. It was fucking. In... I didn't write down who did it, but there's a superplex. Oh, yeah. Onto the goddamn boards. Uh-huh. Okay, I'm just saying, man. That match was ridiculous, dude. There's no yeah. way. I, I don't care how well you bump perfectly flat backed or whatever. They're just. Fucking boards, dude. <laughs> that match was pretty wicked. Out comes Conan, duh. Yep. Oh, yeah, it's, it's there. Arriba, or, or whatever the move is called off the top rope on King. Speak on this. One, two, three. Uh, King is Kingston. Okay. Eddie Kingston. <laughs> I'm a what fan of that guy. <laughs> I don't know about necessarily his wrestling, but I can listen to him cut promos all fucking day, dude. He's a beast. Where the fuck did he come from? Uh, He's awesome, man. He is. He can talk. Up next was the Undead Realm, starring Hottie uh, McHotty and uh, the evil manager guy from ECW. Uh, nope. Skipped. Uh, I, unfortunately... I, <laughs> oh, no. I, I didn't know it was oh, even no. in there. Like I had <laughs> no <you> warning. <laughs> I went out to oh, smoke a oh, cigarette no. after the LAX fucking uh, OG's match, and... I came back in and I'm like, what the fuck is this B rated Impact Presents horror movie shit is this? <laughs> and like, it was so bad. Like, I just sat there repulsed but couldn't stop watching it. Like, what the <laughs> fuck is. Are they serious with this shit? I couldn't help but think. <laughs> are, are they. No longer have the Hardys, but are they trying to do some kind of spoof type thing of well, the broken universe? They're doing a really, really bad job of it. Horrible job. <sighs> well, if anyone's listening now that usually listens to our show, you'd know that when I started watching the new, or well, the, uh, the uh, I guess you call them independent promotions, I was scared of the vignettes. <laughs> well, this is a prime example of what I'm talking about. I can't watch that. I'm sorry. That's never going to be a part of my wrestling show. I'll skip shit like that every goddamn time, dude. Apparently... Uh, Call me an old man, but fuck that. I think her, her name's like Allie something, but I guess she lost her soul. <laughs> oh, that's a shame. Uh, Austin Ariad versus Johnny Name Guy. <laughs> Johnny, insert name here. Let's <laughs> just start calling him Johnny from now on. Uh, yeah. Why doesn't he just go by Johnny? That would work, wouldn't it? <laughs> I mean, then you don't have to worry about remembering so many things. So, yeah, I, I paid a guy named Johnny to take <laughs> Alistair Black out. <laughs> just the beginning of that was enough to make me laugh. You didn't have to say the right. last half of the sentence, dude. I paid a guy named Johnny to pop. <laughs> That's where the pop happens, right there. All right, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> what can you say about this match? I mean, it probably a work, as we discussed earlier, but it's two guys who made an agreement that they were going to really lay their shit in and kind of fuck each other up and really I don't do know if this it thing. Mu- was and, as much of an agreement. Well, see, I, as, I don't know, uh, but th- I just, you know, I, I, I don't really fucking like you. I assume there's not any real. I mean, yeah, like I said, I think like they, I think they went hard on each other on purpose. Like yeah. I, said, I think it's I really all believe an angle. That. They're like, hey, let's sell the fuck out of this, especially with that ending. But I appreciate it. I, th- yeah. I really enjoyed watching that. There's so <laughs> many painful shots. There's, there's, you can't. I don't care if you smack your leg or not when you're hitting and kicking that and elbowing that hard. I don't care, dude. I just love Austin. Shit hurts. Austin Aries talks shit about his old lady on Twitter, and Johnny is like fucking laying into him. I hate you, motherfucker. I'm going to kill you. They try to sacrifice her on Lucha Underground. And he's like, meh. <laughs> I'll get you. <laughs> Darn you to heck. <laughs> anyway, I mean, yeah, we already talked about it. Hey, that wasn't Johnny Impact. That was Johnny Moon, though. You've all heard. My bad. You've all heard the controversy and blah, blah, blah. Wrong, Johnny. <laughs> 
uh, outside of all that, it was a great match. I mean, these guys kicked each other's fucking asses. Uh, I don't know. Yeah. I re- Ultimately, in the end, though, we get our new Impact champion. Yeah, and even if it was a work, I don't know if I like the no sell. It's not good for the business overall, but yeah, yeah whatever. All right. It was an awesome match. Dick! Austin Aries is a dick. Who, who, <laughs> who didn't know that already, though? Yeah, newsflash. Yeah. Newsflash. Surprise. Have you met Austin Aries? Coming up next, Paul White is tall. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I'm trying to think. Well, what would be the next thing in chronological order? I guess it would be SmackDown, since we don't have any Raw notes. Anybody Raw stuff? I'm trying to... Oh! Hey, wait. Well, why are we not doing the watch-along while we're talking? I don't know. <laughs> I guess get this shit ready. Yeah, we uh, just... Uh, yeah, we'll call this our... What's that show called? Help me out here. Bound for Glory <laughs> recap segment. <laughs> I'm like, God damn it! What is it called? <laughs> this, right. is, this is before we do the terrible watch alone. This is <laughs> this is the lube segment. <laughs> That's the pre lube. <laughs> Not the prelude. <laughs> the spit before the cram. We got MLW queued up on YouTube finally. I hope we got something queued up besides us talking. <laughs> Nobody wants to hear that. I do. It's on YouTube. That's episode 27. It is Filthy Tom Lawler ver- oh, versus Shane Swerve Strickland. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us how you so, really oh, feel. I'm not is. a Swerve fan. He's never impressed me for a moment yet. Swerve, Swerve, hey, Swerve. I guess swerve. he's got another chance to prove something to me like he had, like him, what I think of. <laughs> him is on his radar at all like, swerve is good because like every time he's on i want to swerve away from the screen <laughs> <laughs> uh, very nice now if he doesn't show us anything in this match then there's nothing he can show us because he's fighting filthy tom lawler yeah and just because he doesn't shower doesn't mean the guy can't wrestle <laughs> god he stinks <laughs> Advantage. Filthy That's right. <laughs> Nobody wants to lock up with them. See, it's right. fucking gamesmanship, dude. Can shout out Vader. <laughs> <laughs> he goes all in. Shout out Mick Foley mm-hmm. on his character and his bag of popcorn. <sighs> Mick Foley, who would take off his ring gear, uh, spray off with just water, and then put the ring gear back on. <laughs> All right. It's like, <laughs> I'm clean now. <laughs> Gross. Anyway, I don't know what the hell we're talking about dirty people for. We Because oh, yeah, a filthy time Lawler, you yeah, jackass. Yeah. <laughs> we're going to make Chad leave in three. Two, or, I mean, we're going to press play in 418, 419, and fuck cheese man, 420. <laughs> MLW. Episode 27. We've got some time. No, no, that wasn't funny. Had a a fucking... You go to the Shivani too often. Sitting here like... (laughs) (laughs) I went to the Tony Shivani well one too many times. I was going to say, if you didn't go to the... Say go to the well on that one, I was going to counter with it. (laughs) Well, Well, the tape machines are rolling. Oh, hey, the, the, there's a little bit of drama we could discuss. It's uh, the, the next chapter in the low-key shit. Like, people are like, you should fire him, and he's not safe, and blah, blah, blah. It's a work. And, well, yeah, I know. <laughs> but now he's not on the latest promo poster for the next pay-per-view. And oh, all. It's no. like, hey, how come low-key's not on there, and it's a big deal to Mark's? Uh, heard nothing about this. Probably not high ones, I don't give but a fuck about low-key. regular <laughs> Mark's. Ew. Those guys. So, uh, SmackDown 1000. Oh, yeah. That happened. Was fucking spectacularly <clears throat> shitty for being a thousandth episode. Yeah, I was pretty fucking let down. Not gonna lie. I wasn't gonna watch SmackDown, honestly, until Cheese Man mentioned that it was SmackDown 1000. I was like, oh, yeah. 
I should probably check that out. Yeah, SmackDown 1000, of course. I'm Thanks a lot, cheese. <laughs> Thanks. You ended up watching it before I did. It opens with our truth and Carmella, which is how I want to start off my 1,000th episode of a thing. Right. That's uh, As soon as that happened, I was like, really? That's how we're starting this shit? Out comes break. The McMahons. Vince starts a dance break. That's actually the end of the segment. They don't really accomplish much. Well, of course, Stephanie had to come out. Look at me. History. Me. <laughs> AJ Styles and Daniel Bryan versus the Usos. This was okay. Vince come out like, I'm lost. <laughs> How'd I get here? Dance break. <laughs> Where's Roman? I'm sorry. I didn't know anyone had anything else to say about that. No, it's yeah. fine. It's just kind that of shit to my head. That me right out from the start. <laughs> I'm like, well, looks like no one's going to pin my tail back on. <laughs> Let's just get through it. I guess we got our truth and Carmella. <laughs> Two people that really shouldn't have a contract. <laughs> anyway, AJ and DB versus Usos. I was happy that the Usos won. So was I. Me too. That's pretty much all I got to say about the match. Is I was happy the Usos won. Double super kicks for the win. I think they call it something. I can't remember what they call it when they do that. Isn't it called a thing? No. Oh. Let's Everybody does so many goddamn sub or super kicks. La Parca's son. Oh, well, I thought so, but then Finally. Mm. she come out. Yeah, I, I read that his name is Hijo de La Parc. Hijo, huh? Which, El Hijo de La Parc. Doesn't that mean La Parca's child or something like that? Uh, or, I don't know. It's like, Jesus Christ, make up a name, dude. I didn't fucking... Anyway. Attend enough of my sp- Spanish classes in high school, apparently. <laughs> Smackdown next gave us the uh, Evolution reunion, which to me the highlight was Batista burnt everybody, but like like shoot burns. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> fucking hilarious. Oh my god, damn! I wish I'd have wrote them down, but it was a week ago now, and I'm not gonna remember them. But they were all like, ouch. Of course, they're setting it up. Well, yeah, they're setting it up for fucking. Him and Triple H at WrestleMania, I, I almost guarantee I it. I hope hey, I that just that wasn't for, like, like no reason. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he like, was just on Lucha Underground. Oh, like, they, they actually do go through with that. Like He's Batista. one of the dudes in the Battle Royal thing. Okay, we'll get to that later. <laughs> yeah. And, I, I mean, I actually, it was, he addressed the crowd and kind of said like some real stuff and it was cool and everything i don't know yeah i liked batista it was cool to see him in there again i wouldn't mind watching him if he does something up next we get miz and rusev guess what happened it's a rusev match guess what happened there's no way aiden english got involved no he really did he interfered oh no way and the Miz wins by roll up. It's like roll up. I swear. Oh, of course he wins by roll up. Nobody kicks out a fucking roll up. Uh, he qualifies well, for the World Cup. That's that's another thing well, we talked about earlier. Somebody from WWE is listening because they know that she was his favorite move. <laughs> well, it's not that it's my favorite. It's just it's the most powerful so, move in the history of the world. And they shouldn't abuse that. I'm not watching the MLW shit. I'm looking at my notes too much. Okay. <laughs> but anyway, we got. Hijo de la Park and Sammy Guevara. Yeah, we usually just talk and don't have, or we only half ass watch this anyway, to be honest. Yeah, but I do kind of want to. I've been enjoying wrestling again lately because I haven't been watching the bad stuff, you know what I mean? All right. And I, I don't know. I, oh, I, shit. I Ow! I'm like, I'm glad I was. Damn. <laughs> I'm glad I'm watching. Uh, <coughs> if you're watching along with us, you know why we just said, ow, motherfucker. Oh, of course, after <clears throat> Aiden interferes, we, we get Sam a it. nut shot from Lana, and then Rusev stomps Aiden. This time, yeah. Um, <laughs> like, where the hell is that storyline even going? And then the Edge segment. He got punked out twice, to like oh. two weeks in a row. It's done. Which sucked balls. I... Edge. Oh my god. At this point I'm really starting to hate this show really bad. I'm he like, came out, damn it, this is a thousandth. He came out like fucking Dr. Phil. Yeah. To Don't the point you want where, to be a uh, better person, Becky? We had to make a meme about it. It's not you, Becky. You're better than this. 
Tried to hurt your neck getting out of the it ring. It was almost like the Uso <laughs> thing again, where I was like, Becky was good in it. She well, burned man, the I was fuck just out glad of him. That Becky stayed to her character. Didn't. Yeah. Was like, no, fuck off. This Guevara Basically. guy is pretty good, man. <laughs> yeah, he is. He's fucking real bouncy. <laughs> Very bouncy. Really, really bouncy. But kick to the head. Ooh. That's smart. <laughs> oh, wow, that, that was like some spot on shit, dude. Oh, that's smart. We fucking. Uh, what you got? Uh, oh, I was the guy from WCW. He used to do the color commentary. <laughs> Larry Zabisco. That was okay. fucking Zabisco style commentary there. That's smart. Uh, well, next week we I get have nothing part. further to say on. <laughs> Edge other than, yeah, I dig Becky too, but she, she seems to be on top of this heel shit. They were just showing oh. that next week it's going to be L.A. Park versus PCO. That would be kind of cool. Yeah, actually. couple of... Damn. Oh! <laughs> Hispanic Destroyer. <laughs> kick out, huh? Wow, you don't <laughs> kick out of that, you guys. New Day versus The Bar. I have... Such negativity <laughs> towards this list because it was the thousandth and it was such a turd. But okay. Well, they had the title change. That was your big uh, sure. That was your big thing for the thousandth. Sure the the big show interferes, choke yeah. slams Kofi, which distracts Big E long enough for Sheamus to land the brogue kick. FTW. Yep. The the bar mm. are your new SmackDown tag team champions. For the fifth time, I believe they're tag team champions. Five now. time. Yep. Well, how about that? Versus a, a returning Rey Mysterio Jr. This oh my is God. the first time they ever fought, and I don't mean just in stupid WWE. I mean like ever. I Man, it sounds about right because I don't think <laughs> it was actually a decent match. It may have been maybe the best match of the night or a tie. A tie with what? <laughs> EJ and Usos. Good call. Uh, yeah. Well, compared to that, no, really, match, I mean, yeah, yeah, I would say that that could yeah, I guess the it, was match like a, of the night. it was a tie. I mean, maybe that was I'd the give the edge. I say I'd give the edge to surprisingly to Ray and Shinsuke. I probably would too. Uh, totally. Ray hits a splash to make the pin after a successful six one nine. And then Ray is going to the World Cup to make sure it's all Americans. <laughs> yes, that too. If they would have just left it at that, <laughs> they'd be like, okay, well, at least they had a decent fucking main event. But nope, the main event isn't an event at all. It's an old guy trotting his ass out to kind of talk. That was so weak. Undertaker promo, super <clears throat> sucky. <clears throat> End of this piece of shit is what my notes say. And pretty and short, like, too. Yeah, I mean, I guess that's a merciful like thing. Ten but... words or something. Right. <clears throat> it's like, really? That's that's how you end SmackDown 1000? Two words. <laughs> or three words. <laughs> I'm getting too old for this <laughs> shit. <laughs> Rest my knees. Ah, <laughs> 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 oh, shit. <clears throat> Ignore the sexual allegations you've heard. <laughs> I did not touch my niece. Oh, God. <laughs> like, oh, oh, Undertaker's going to end up on that podium. Yikes. <laughs> Ooh. Hey, 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 never said he was guilty. All right, well, have... <laughs> Damn. Oh, there's... Uh, Go to sleep. One of them. One, two, three. Yeah. What, no kick out? Nope, not that time. Nice match, though. I mean, cool spots. Yeah, we talked over it, but it was good. I don't know if uh, we actually I would have watched it. <laughs> uh, I, I don't know if I would have scripted him again. to immediately kick out of the Canadian Damn. Destroyer. I mean, that's one of the more respected moves in the biz, but fair enough. <laughs> People kick out of that shit all the time. I guess. Lucha Underground, anybody? I assume everyone watched it. Yep. Oh, yeah. All right. I'm going to fucking close your window because it's fucking cold. That's fine. Go right ahead, sir. Uh, It opens with Antonio Cueto having a meeting with Jake Strong. Okay, so yeah, you were asking like a week or two back. Antonio Cueto is the father of... Yes. Matanza. But uh, when Lucha Underground first came out, 
the main dude running everything was Dario Cueto, mm-hmm. who was Matanzas' brother. Really? Yep. Neat. So, like, he was still around when I was watching, but I guess his ass got, like, sacrificed or something. <laughs> <laughs> so, now it's the other dude that I don't fucking know. So, anyway, it's... Dogs like this. Sacrifice. It's a vignette. <laughs> you know how I feel about those. But I swear, Lucha Underground does them right. And this would have been cool, except I can't take Jake Strong serious <laughs> with that super heavy lisp. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I, I have a speech impediment. You're talking to a guy that can barely spit a word out of his fucking mouth. But maybe not so much with the S's for old Jake. You know what I'm saying? I thought it was dependent. Maybe uh. his last name should be Long or something. <laughs> Come on, you guys. I'm not going to fall for that one. But he's... <laughs> I mean, he, he's too he, suspicious. He's a decent wrestler, and he looks like a fucking wrestler for sure. But good God, man. It's so... Hard. Anyway, okay. That's enough. All right. Uh, so yeah, they Raj had a. Is coming to MLW. Yeah, like I said, outside of that hard to take them serious thing, it wasn't a bad fucking. Right, it's actually a segment. good segment. Good. It's just yeah. when he hit th- those f's, <laughs> it's just it's like damn it, damn it. So anyway, uh, you have the, that is like you're open, and then the. Credits roll with the open and the announcers, everything, and then uh, Quato comes out to address the crowd or to address, well, everyone <laughs> the believers. I'm a believer, uh, and they're doing some gift of the gods championship match deal. I'm sure people that watch Lucha Underground know what that is and I sound like a fucking idiot the, right now but I don't remember the championship so much but I remember the medallions at least yeah. like having to qualify sometimes to get sometimes I get confused because of I see Conan and I'm going <laughs> what, what what show am I watching again <laughs> yeah fuck that's half the rosters are on a lot of the same shows we watch <clears throat> I know it's, it's confusing but uh Quato announces there will be a like a Royal Rumble style match with Jake Strong Aerostar Hernandez, King Quino, Dante F- Fox, <laughs> PJ Black, and Big Bad Steve. Big Bad Steve looks like a dude named Steve who people who hang out with him would he's, probably call Big Bad Steve. He's a mechanic. Oh, That's I know like. who it is. It's probably a guy named Steve. And the winner, <laughs> <laughs> the winner chooses a wrestler to eliminate from next week's gift of the guys championship match which I think is another fucking battle royal thing just like they did so basically it's like a preview so Jake Strong wins oh no are those Roman relatives Lance Annoy yes that's that's Lance Annoy and yes he is a Roman anyway (laughs) Jake Strong wins that fucking thing uh, in a very uneventful match where like really nothing happens and it's only like two or three minutes long Mm mm-hmm and then he chooses to eliminate no one, so I have to go burbs on you. What's the fucking point? Right. Why'd you even make the stipulation? Just have the match. <laughs> yeah. Talk then, less. Oh my I, god, that was stupid. And then they're okay. like, hey, well, we'll put Jake Strong in another match later too. <laughs> what Sorry. the oh, fuck is going on? Yeah, exactly. Man. No. What is? Come going on, Barrington. On? Are you looking at the screen? The smash and dash connection. Oh Dude. man, what's that guy's <laughs> He's got gimmick, f- Cody? He's got front butt. <laughs> <laughs> front butt. <laughs> and back boobs. He's got it all mixed up. <laughs> he, he is not properly aligned. Front butt and back tits. <laughs> <laughs> this guy. He can make two oh. people very happy in prison. <laughs> <laughs> like this is fucking incredible. <laughs> <laughs> you like that, fellas? Up next is Killshot versus the Mac. <laughs> <laughs> Two people who would probably appreciate Old Barrington here. Uh, <laughs> Mel Mortez interferes and attacks the Mac. Son of Havoc to the rescue, but Mills stomps him and Mac both. I guess that guy is like their their version of fucking uh, 
Goldberg. Uh, the <laughs> m- 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 so the Mac wins by DQ. I like the Mac. We talked about him last week. He looks yep. like he looks like the junkyard dog, but he wrestles like Rey Mysterio Jr. So it's quite a sight to see him pulling those moves off so gracefully for being so. <sighs> not stereotypically built for such moves, shall we say. I'm not fat shaming anyone. <laughs> Kevin Owens. Uh Dick Barrington Hughes is down on the floor and every time he tries to get up, Lance goes over and kicks him because like, he keeps struggling to get his big ass up there. I've kind of been waiting on him to appear on here because I remember he was in the roster, but we never seen him yet. Okay. Other guy's name. Cody Brazil. Koto. Koto. Yeah. No, that's Kofi. Kofi. <laughs> Kingston? Brazingston. Or am I thinking Eddie? <laughs> Brazingston. <laughs> anyway, the main event is the goofy match. It's Jake Strong again versus Johnny Mundo. It was at that point I realized Jake's not really a great wrestler, but Johnny is really good, and he helps to kind of even things out in this match. Yeah, we are talking about Johnny Mundo. Yes, Johnny, yep, Johnny Mundo. Mundo this time. Not great, to be confused not with Johnny, Johnny Impact. Impact. Some great action outside the ring. Once they leave the ring is when they really do all their good spots. Yeah. Uh, they get back. I think they get back in the ring. I didn't write that down. And uh, Jake locks on an yeah. ankle lock. Yeah. So they eventually get back in the ring because Jake locks him or gets him with the ankle lock. Yep. Johnny tries to roll through and Jake holds on and fucking. Keeps his hold on it, and Johnny taps. Taps him out. Out comes Matanza. Jake leaves Johnny to Matanza. Out comes Taya to the rescue. No, sir. Nope. Of course she ain't gonna do shit against Matanza. Matana or Matanza pounds the fuck out of Johnny, and he's like a fucking (laughs) just a mess at the end of the episode, and that's how they leave us. Pretty fun show. That's a good show. It really is. I like Lucha Underground a lot, man. We yeah, didn't even I, mind the. It's, I've been enjoying it the most. Well, next to NXT, I've been big, enjoying it the most. Big net thing. I didn't specifically make a note of that, but I know that there was a lot of spots in that that I like, so I'm sure that was one of them. Mm. Whatever it is you're referring to, because I don't remember it, but I'm huh. sure the I like it. The very beginning of... Yeah, the, you're talking about the opening that we were oh. talking No, it was good. Ooh. It was just that lisp throws me off. It's like I'm a dick. I'm like I'm a stutterer, and I'm making fun of a like, guy I'm not really making fun of, but I'm put off so bad by that. It's like, damn it, your job's to talk. Kodo just fucked Roman Light up. Missed it, but that's okay. <laughs> Roman light. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, I think cream and sugar. Roman <laughs> <is> that fucking. <laughs> now, whenever I see him, that's all I'm gonna think of. It's Roman light. <laughs> Little Romeo got fucked up. <laughs> oh man, I almost like. Don't want to start talking about this yet because this match is probably going to be over soon and I want to catch the f- finish. But NXT Ooh. and then into NXT <clears throat> UK, you can't go wrong with them shows this week. <laughs> Cannot go wrong. Damn, little <laughs> Romy. Uh, all right. <laughs> what the? <laughs> oh, there, hurt your balls. I. Right. No, I haven't felt my balls Ooh. in years. God damn. That was awesome. <laughs> I might like Lil Romy. Love, this guy's kind of brutal, man. I love the fucking, cell, too. Yeah, he did oh. great. <sighs> damn. That was fucking sick. <laughs> he looked like he was dead when he fell down there. <laughs> <laughs> what a move by Kofi Swan. That I made think that he shit just, look good as hell. I think he just pooped himself. <laughs> Kofi Swan? Nobody on there? Kofi Swan. Okay, okay Rich Swan. There we go. I get it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Rich Swan's not high enough up on my fucking <laughs> I know I feel you right I have to immediately jump to mind I had never heard him talk till this week and I'm like oh well now I know why <laughs> he's awful Uh-oh. I think we're watching the ending he is fucking awful oh no, so this ain't gonna be the ending Barrington hasn't even gotten into the ring yet wait hey uh, uh, who's out there with him uh, I can't remember <laughs> fair enough 
Well, he's an older dude. That's pretty damn sure. Whoever it is is willing to make Hughes not look like an idiot for throwing the weakest clothesline ever. So that was nice of him. <laughs> All right. Old man knows how to sell. Too bad he don't know how to tie his pants artificially. <laughs> oh, yeah. You don't do that with Samoans. Yeah. That's the classic no-no. <laughs> oh, they hit him on the dent. <laughs> you don't headbutt him. <laughs> 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 oh, uh. hit him in the dent. <laughs> Damn, he kicked the fuck out of Ray Liotta. That's where he used to headbutt lockers. <laughs> I owed you that one, bitch. That's a receipt. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Spare! Yeah. Spare! <laughs> Again, whoever the old man is, he's he knows how to sell. <laughs> Props to him. Would y'all just do it? What are you doing? <laughs> that was pretty sweet. All right. Oh, I'm no. Sorry. That's oh, how no. Oh, oh, man. <laughs> well, well, that's the mashed potatoes. Well, Lance and Noah, y'all. He roll. tried. He looked pretty good, but... Uh, Patrice O'Neal uh, with the finish, you ain't yeah. from that. You know what no. I mean? Oh, no. That's the end of that thing. Snoop. It's like, oddly no. enough, in that scenario, Light, Roman Light was the fans. <laughs> 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 and Barrington was the WWE pushing Roman Reigns. I was going to say Roman, but that's good enough, yes. <laughs> Barrington was Roman. Uh, <laughs> Spin the wheel and make the deal. Hmm. Next week... Uh, J- Jimmy Havoc will be discussing later on in the additional bonus watch along segment. Wait, you yeah. see this shit, you guys? What the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? Did uh, you watch it yet? No. Goody. That's why I said let's watch that one because I did see the one table virgin, one. Dude, you're gonna be like, what the shit? <laughs> The fuck am I watching? Oh my god! I don't want to watch this anymore. Those motherfuckers. Man. The winner. I don't want to do this. Well, <laughs> that match. Turn off. <laughs> the tables. No, that's a different match. Oh. Not even the table match? Mm-mm. No, I'm talking Damn. about a hardcore match with Jimmy no, the Havoc. Oh. Match, which is a true, <clears throat> legitimate, Japanese-style hardcore match. Like, did you ever watch any of that Jimmy shit before? Havoc and... Um, oh, uh, Paul something. I can just look at my notes. Uh, the only, th- only uh, shit I seen like that was way back in the day, um, Str- Strangle Mania. Yeah. Okay. okay, well then you know what to expect roughly anyway. What oh, yeah. was his name? Paul Robinson. <laughs> <laughs> Those guys don't give a fucking rat's ass, dude. So same as cutting a long promo that we're not here in. Yep. NXT was fucking awesome. Yes, it was. A Get lot of people were saying NXT UK was better. I think I, even you guys said that. Personally, I thought NXT was no, a little I better. I don't know that if necessarily people were saying NXT UK was cooler, it was a poll or something yes. where NXT oh, okay. UK was like almost a whole poll. Yeah, like they had like, 60 and then oh, NXT yeah, yeah, only right. had 30. But yeah, I would definitely not agree that UK was a cooler would, uh, episode. I liked them both a lot, but man, NXT went all out to hang with them this week. Yeah. I voted in that <clears throat> poll and I was one of the 30 right. that said NXT was the best one I didn't out come of the across WWE that poll, product so. that I saw. I, no, I didn't either. I just... It, it's weird. Right. <laughs> it opens with War Raiders versus Undisputed Era, Kyle and Roddy. Fucking... The War Raiders, I like them, but they seem so New Japan. Don't they just... They feel so New Japan. Like, the whole... Everything they do, they play to the crowd more than the camera and like they're crazy they, they just remind me of a Japanese style tag team to me that's not a burn or nothing it's just a, a general right. comment they seem I had so I said something about Shinsuke in an interview where he was talking about how he's just now feeling like he's getting the hang of the WWE style right so maybe they're just having a New Japan hangover. Well, it of still. probably is that, but it's just like, you can really tell where they came from, if you ask me. It's like, wow, you can just see it. You can tell that that's... And you're right, because of in New Japan, right. it's big playing to the crowd. Mm-hmm. 
The more you no, no. do, the more over you are. Yeah, but it doesn't there. really make for good TV. Either. <laughs> <laughs> you, you know, once you learn, they're like, oh, yeah, I got to play to the camera. That's what really matters. But anyway. It was a really Just good a match, though. No, it was a r- real good match. Fucking awesome match. And f- f- in fact, I wrote spectacular match, excellent use of large guy moves. <laughs> yeah. And oh, Kyle, like, like Kyle O'Reilly, O'Reilly tossing each other around as like weapons and shit. It was great. That yeah. no, the undisputed era are something not to be fucked with. And Kyle O'Reilly was fucking impresses me more and more every time I see him. <clears throat> me too. Every man like, smaller guy, that guy. making it, it fucking believable awesome. that the smaller guy is taking out these two Viking type. Mm, see, the match guys. was booked right. They there's storytelling in there, like they're. They have to this huge obstacle to overcome, and they got to work the legs, and you know, take these big bastards down. And it was just like, God, they do it so good there. But then, in <laughs> undisputed it's the era, good wrestling, it really is, man. It's the good fucking booking. The good wrestling is all here. Well, here comes the good bad guy part of undisputed era. Yep. Adam Cole, Bobby Fish with the save <laughs> by. Yep. Coming out and just nailing everybody with a chair. But prior to that, Adam Cole had come out and, and uh, tried to interfere and got shit stomped like everybody else was at the time. Yeah, so the referee <laughs> didn't call anything because of Adam Cole he never got no any impact in. in a negative way at all. He was just like there for a second. But he was yeah, out comes Bobby Fish. <laughs> Bobby Fish, which we kind of knew was coming a few weeks ago because of the damn spoilers that go around everywhere, but we didn't know exactly when. Yeah. I want to say you said there was going to be like a crutch involved too, though. I That's didn't see what no I crutch. read. So maybe that happened, but not on a TV taping. Yeah, maybe. That may have been a house show thing. Yeah, because they just showed up and whooped ass. Yep, with no crutch, no... And it didn't have one of the knee things on or nothing. He was all good. So yeah, we'll definitely be seeing a rematch for the title down the road. So the War Raiders win by DQ and Undisputed Era retains the belts. Yep. Britt Baker versus Shayna Baszler. Uh, poor Britt. <laughs> Britt Baker's one of the girls in the all-in match, right? Yep. Okay. Well, then th- th- this is a fucking travesty. That's why I said this frightens me for what they're going to do with Chelsea Green. <laughs> a referee stoppage. Okay, what the fuck is my notes? And that was the end of that. Uh, yeah, well, once I realized who that was, I'm like, why did you even put her in there with Shayna fucking Baszler? Put her in there with a person who can do some high spots and shit and have some fun with her. But nope. Uh-uh. They make her look like a punk ass piece of shit. <laughs> Shayna Baszler wins by referee stoppage. It's only like two minutes too. They didn't even do anything. Yeah, it That's w- wasn't it. anything in to real the match. life. Mrs. Bay Bay. Really? Yep. Hmm. And that's how they're gonna do her. Okay. Anyway. <laughs> well, look at what they've been doing with Cole. But he hmm. makes it look good even when he loses. Oh yeah, they can't, or they're gonna... You know, part of that is in the booking, too, because you can make a guy lose and not look like a weak piece of shit. It's possible. Yeah, like with the whole three-way match with Pete Dunne and... That's a fabulous example. Nobody looked weak in that match, and and there was a clean winner. Yep. That never happens in WWE, man. It just doesn't. They can't do it. They don't know how to fucking do that shit. Anyway, let's not get into that again. (laughs) Now, don't start that again. <laughs> Rocky and Bing. Never heard of either one of them. Versus Oni Lorcan and Danny Birch. Heard of those oh, guys. Oh, there's a no. I'm a fan of those fellas. This okay. was the last match for Bing before Ever? being let go. Hmm. Because of he was actually one of those. What well, he was the first Chinese, uh, yeah, first Chinese person signed or whatever. Well, they let go of the wrong guy because Rocky sucks. <laughs> Rocky sucks balls, and that's not a rock reference or nothing like that. Rocky sucks. I think if you watch that match, he's a sloppy bitch. I must have stepped out of the room for a minute or something because I don't really yeah, it's remember only like that match. Two minutes yeah, and it wasn't it's obvious match. who's fucking going over in this one. Okay, Lorcan and Birch. Rocky sucks, dude. They <laughs> should have die, Rocky, die, Bing and got rid of Rocky. Because what the fuck? That guy has no business being in the ring. Bianca versus Nikki. This is your main event, I believe. Yes. Because 
they go back and forth and beat the piss out of each other like you would expect. Mm-hmm. Like Bianca was showing some fear at some points now. Like Nikki's fully gotten to her. But uh, once again, it ends in no decision because after they beat the hell out of each other and they're laying there, the lights go dark. Aleister Black's music hits for like, what, three seconds? Oh, this is one of the highlights of the week for me. And then the lights come back on and he's sitting there, you know, cross leg straight in front of Nikki. Tell me. <laughs> That's all he says. Tell me. The bitch whispers it to him. I'm like, oh, you fucking general hospital writing motherfuckers. Right. But, you know, that's the right thing to do. Yeah. Uh, you didn't seem, seem like he was the happiest person after hearing so what she said. That's all fine and good. And Alistair, he gets madder and madder. And he's, like, building up rage as you would hope he would, you know. And he stands up and he's, like, red and he's pissed and he's shaking. And then the crowd starts doing the new day. Who? Who? Uh, yeah. Who? 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 Oh my Who? god! I I almost peed a little bit. I laughed so damn hard. I'm like, did you guys see this? This is fucking hilarious. <laughs> Ruined his big serious moment. You can't take anything seriously when they're doing that who thing. And that's how the episode ends. And dude, I was cracking up. I felt so good. I'm like, oh, I needed a laugh. After, I had after tears rolling, dude. It was there. so funny. And I'm like, you guys, did you see that? <laughs> of course they hadn't. But I hope you guys went back and watched it because good. Fun Fucking God, it's hilarious, dude. Alistair Ooh. Black says one thing He's before he there leaves. Trying to look all pissed and <laughs> hoo, hoo. <laughs> Sorry, he was threatening me? It was great. The crowd's completely fucking it up for him. Oh god. <clears throat> I'm sorry, that was it was a comedy spot. It was oh, an shit. accidental comedy spot. We're on the main event. It's all the main right, event. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that Shane Strickland is one undisputed ace. <laughs> Sorry, but that's not a good I think name. they could be disputed. <laughs> I have my hand raised. <laughs> Witness. I, I got some disputing to do. <clears throat> okay, well, I didn't really care about this match a lot anyway, but I am going to watch it. But NXT UK, well, we can do this quick. It's only a few matches and they're all good. Well, that's not true. <laughs> and but, moving on. That's not true. <laughs> Mark Andrews versus Joe Coffey. Or or as I like to call him, Killian Dane if he worked out. He looks just like fucking a slightly skinnier, more muscular Killian Dane. They could be brothers, I swear to God. Uh, Andrews lands a nice combination of moves because he's the guy that can actually move and is in shape. So, of course, he eats a discus lariat. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Coffee for the win. Not a great match. It was an okay match, but I didn't love it. And I'm like, oh, all right. Maybe Cheese Man would know this, but that Mark guy, wasn't he on um, Impact? Like one of the cruiserweights? Mark Andrews? I want to... I want to say I've seen that he was in something else this week besides just NXT. He was on UK. Progress. That's what it was. Okay. Yeah, he was in the table match. <laughs> oh, yeah. He was one of the, well, we all know who wins that. Uh, the table. <laughs> then we had a Mustache Mountain promo, and they got a big pop. They, well, of course, because they're yeah. in the UK. Basically, they suggest that some wrestlers join up to make tag teams because they don't have anybody to fight to win their belts. <laughs> uh, and they kiss the hell out of Triple H's ass which I don't blame him I kiss that guy's ass now too <laughs> so we get Sid Scala who is uh, was that the big fucking crazy looking who dude? is what they call in the UK a Jalba a Jalba versus Big Dave Mastiff okay yeah Big, big Dave Mastiff who that is was the... 322 pounds of Dave <laughs> and it's a big man squash match as you would imagine He's their uh, Lars Sullivan. Yes. So another one, I eh, I didn't like that match that much. Yeah, me. But this is when I was introduced to two lovely young ladies by the name of Tony Storm and Nina Samuels. Nina, I would best describe her as a, like a Lacey Evans-style heel chick. Not exactly, but that genre. Yeah. And... Tony Storm's character is an 80s rocker who likes Motley Crue, which is okay because she wears studded leather, so I'm fine with her being an 80s Motley Crue fan. (laughs) 
It works. Nina's a really good heel, and Tony's got moves. Uh, Storm Zero, f- f- for the win, I forget what it is. I want to say it's like a pile driver or something. I can't, I can't remember what it was either. I watched the match, but yeah, I can't remember shit about it. But but <laughs> I like yeah. it. Yeah, I, I remember it wasn't a bad See, match. See, when you don't remember, remember things specifics. or make notes, it means it was a good match and everything just was cool. There wasn't anything to be like, ah, ha, or anything like that. All right. And their main event, uh, the UK title match, Pete Dunne versus Noam Dar, who is a brick shit house. Dude yeah. is in fucking spectacular condition. Pete Dunne's a regular over name as man. fuck. On yes, he's their Hulk Hogan or something. He is over as fuck. The crowd wouldn't shut the fuck up for a few minutes. <laughs> Two great wrestlers who put on a great match. That's all I got to say about that. Oh, yeah. Uh, Pete Dunne wins with the bitter end. That fucking... Um, fucking awesome. That, what is it, the X-Plex that he does? Onto the apron? I fucking love that move. Like, that needs to be his finish. Like, even when he does it, he does it at one point when they're in the middle of the ring. Right. And, like, even just then, it's like, that's a fucking sweet-ass move. It really is. Man, they love him over there. <laughs> <laughs> they sure do love that guy. So a fucking couple of great shows from the NXT squads, man. Yep. It makes Raw and SmackDown look silly. <laughs> so now they added NXT UK, they just make Raw and SmackDown look that much worse. When, when your only highlight for Raw is Ronda. <clears throat> oh yeah, we probably oh, should have mentioned that because that yeah, was I forgot sweet. about that one. Dude, nice call, nice memory. Because yeah, th- th- that was a couple of sick burns. Well, that's the only thing. That I could remember about Raw is that. And you know what? Even then, Ronda still sucks. It's just the words were funny. Yeah. But the delivery wasn't like awesome or nothing. She's still awkward as fuck on the microphone. It was just nice to hear that shit live. (laughs) (laughs) That she's working one-on-one with her promotions with Polly. No. 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 Oh. Oh, my God guess uh yeah he was the guy who used to help people with promos way back in the day it was ha! <laughs> tom Lawler just slipped and fell <laughs> when he was in wcw or nwa or when they were working together or whatever you know what i'm saying the crockett days no <clears throat> Negative when he was Paul E. Days. Dangerously, and he used to carry around a giant fucking cell phone. Remember that? No. Paul E. Dangerously. It's a big ass cell phone. <laughs> it was a brick. <laughs> a literal brick. Self protection. Half. Well, if you remember, if you. Or even if you just happened to watch any of the crap of him on the. N- n- network? Network. Originally, it was a house. Or a home phone. <laughs> it wasn't even a real actual cell phone. It was just a home cordless phone. Because, you know, they didn't have money to buy one of them newfangled crazy cell phones. I ain't got money for that. So I put the Jew in jujitsu for a reason. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Jeez. Anyway, I've watched about two seconds of this match, but now I'm tuned back in. <laughs> Ooh. I'm wondering how much more coverage we can squeeze in. We still got uh, Impact, which was just pretty good too. And then a little extra coverage on the progress thing, which I figured we could maybe talk about that while we're watching the hardcore match. That would make sense, so I probably won't get into that. All right, Impact. Mm -hmm. I'll kick us off while we watch the rest of this main event here uh, opens with the Johnny Impact promo Ooh, right T- takes a couple shots at Austin Aries as you'd expect oh bronze woman <laughs> uh, <laughs> he's interrupted by bronze gonna be pissed Phoenix poor Tom Lawler who asks him very nicely for a title shot yeah. uh Johnny very nicely accepts. That was 
Uh, well, that was very nice of him. Uh, he, yeah. he calls... Nice. What a nice segment. He calls Austin Aries unprofessional, and then they shake hands. He's a poopy face. He's a big turd head. <laughs> Uh, and then I don't think they mention him at all the whole rest of the night. No, no. Uh, he should not be named. Huh. Uh, so Tommy Dreamer comes out and cuts a quote unquote promo <laughs> on Moose. <laughs> uh, and then uh, Killer Cross accepts <laughs> the challenge. On the streets of New York or something. I don't know the fuck they were, but it wasn't in the building. Ugh. You can't tell us what to do. Impact needs to change their vignettes. It's not Lucha Underground that's the problem. It's Impact that makes the bad vignettes. Yeah, it's like the more you're going on, the more I'm like, oh yeah, I didn't care so much for Impact this it's week. Like, yeah, that did suck. <laughs> uh, up next we get Katarina Lee versus Taya. Uh... Taya lands a road to Valhalla for the win. After the match, she cuts a promo stating that she's lost respect for Tessa. She never specifies why. Yeah, what did Tessa do? She the... didn't really do anything. Okay, uh, Trevor Lee versus Ethan Page. Trevor or Trevor Lee apparently is on a losing streak, and he really needs a win real bad, and I guess that's his gimmick. Hmm. Okay. Guess what happened? So he's their uh, Kurt Hawkins? Yeah, basically. Uh, what the hell's going on on TV? Ethan? <laughs> uh, there's a... Uh, he's going to rope break with his teeth? There's attempted he rape. He made it to he, the finish line. Damn it, he did, in fact, rope uh, break with his teeth. That was a screenshot and a meme just waiting to happen. Yeah, that... It works on ropes and pillows. Anyway, uh, Ethan Page lands a rock bottom for the win. I don't know what he calls it, but it's a rock bottom. Pretty much, yep. Which is also a uranagi. Which is also a sidewalk slam. (laughs) Rich Swan in the Mac promo, which is the low light of my (laughs) week. I know now to hit skip as soon as Rich Swan is in the vicinity of a microphone. I will never... Well, the, Shane Strickland no speaking. can do a Daniel Bryan but kick pretty good. Guess what? I'm glad I watched it because I popped myself because the Mech <laughs> is wearing his own Lucha Underground shirt. <laughs> so I'll take that. That was very funny. He's wearing a Lucha Underground the Mech shirt on Impact. That's great. Killer Cross versus Tommy Dreamer ends by referee stoppage, and it's at that point I turned off me fucking TV! <laughs> Shout out to Burbs. <laughs> Eli Drake promo backstage. He's going to sue Impact for an unsafe work environment. I love this man. Uh-huh. He's, uh-huh. he's great. I don't, he's allowed to do whatever he wants. Alicia Edwards. Well, I don't mean that in a gay way. I mean, <laughs> wicked talk, but I meant like on the show. He he can do no wrong. Uh, Alicia Edwards versus Allie. Yeah, Allie's the one that lost her soul. Well, she wins with a code breaker and then trips out, out on her a little bit more after that. Freak out! <laughs> Freak out! Jordan Grace coming soon. Ooh. Aaron's been talking about her. I had no idea who she was. Now that I've seen her, I'm also coming soon. <laughs> Rich Swan versus Brian Cage for the X Division Championship. Cage's leg is still taped up and actually now both legs are taped up. Which it wasn't until this episode that I had realized that Brian Cage is the X Division Champion. I said, like, what the fuck happened to the X Division? Like, is it... It's been destroyed by I, one man who hasn't lost in 16 years. Well, I guess it kind of... us back to what <clears throat> G. Wiz was saying last week. That's it. Brian Cage... Looks all huge and everything, but he's, he's six only feet tall. tall. Yeah. As tall as G Wiz. He's a six footer. But but two hundred something pounds. <laughs> of rocks. Yeah, it's like two sixty or some shit like that. But he has to be less than that because of oh, that was nice. He's the X division champ. The one nice thing in the match, and I'm looking at my nose to keep talking. It was just uh superplex and he rolled through into a guillotine. No. Oh, man, yeah. this looks like Joe's Hold a little bit. Uh, the coquita. The cocaine clutch. The cocaine, the clutch. cocaine clutch. 
This match is way better than I thought it was going to be because I was already like, this rich swan guy needs to just go somewhere besides on my TV. But the it, it's like speed against raw power. They do good storytelling of that. Yeah. It ended up being a good match. It was a lot better than I thought it was going to be. Rich is able to counter a lot of stuff because of his agility. Yeah. Uh, Cage is able to hurt him whenever he lands anything because of how strong he is. They do a good job, and this match is actually pretty awesome. And I was like, well, son of a bitch. Look at that. Uh, Cage lands the Weapon X, which I can't remember what it was. I got to start. <laughs> writing down what the moves are so, so, so I can describe them but anyone who knows Cage knows what it is probably uh, after the match out comes Sammy Callahan and OVE uh, Cage destroys them all pretty handily and they have to drag Except away one of the Chris. Dave never even gets in the ring <laughs> uh, so yeah that, that was some pretty fun stuff though so what about Dave <laughs> Look at what you did to Dave. It wasn't a bad episode, but it's almost like having looked at my notes, it was half a bad episode, and then the last half was cool. So, yeah, I'm enjoying these other promotions, though. Seriously, man, this is way better than WWE. Yeah, I feel dumb for having watched Raw for fuck. I don't want to say it out loud. Probably not as long as you guys, but um, I mean. I'm definitely enjoying uh, Lucha Underground a lot. I put a lot of time into catching up to be knowledgeable to do this show, man. I watched a lot of shit on Hulu and the network and shit that I would have just not. Because basically it was, I just watched the story of Roman Reigns. Yep. Seriously. Caught up on years of Roman Reigns. Exactly. Roman Reigns. how to destroy good wrestlers. Wow. Anyway. yeah. Put Roman in there. (laughs) So I'm pretty much fuck raw. I mean... Unless I hear Elias is getting some <laughs> nuclear heat, I, uh, that's the only thing I'm checking out. I ain't done. scared of babies or diseases. I fuck raw. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, you see where I wasn't going with that. Yeah. <laughs> now that you said that. All right, well, I think that's all of our promotional c- or our promotion coverage for this week, so we can enjoy the last couple minutes of this, sh- or the last sure. eight minutes of this MLW show here. You see, they have the uh, fucking. For the damn evolution thing, they're just doing like a big fucking battle royal now. They went all lazy with it. Like they're not mm-hmm. doing a fucking women's tag team title thing. Like, how could you not do that for the first women's pay per view? That seems like it. Uh, it writes itself. A fucking slam dunk, yeah. Like a fucking given. Like, oh yeah, we're gonna do this. No. There's kind of even some already obvious teams. Right, oh. and a lot of those already obvious teams are in the fucking battle royals. Like you could have easily just turned that into like a fucking tournament instead yes. of a battle royal. Lazy motherfuckers. But I think that we called this one before too. That why are they pushing this? Sash boss and hugs. Boss and hugs. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> the whole Sasha Bank uh, Bailey was a, tag no, team. I know what you mean, but I, I'm calling them that forever now. That's hilarious. <laughs> boss boss hugs. and hugs. <laughs> boss Sasha and hugs. Sasha boss Banks hugs is, is out. It's like fucking Boss Hog. Say so Sasha Banks <laughs> is out. And nobody seems to really know why, and she's not like saying anything on Twitter or whatever. No, she's back, right? I haven't seen her. Didn't yet. she? I, I think she's still gone. Are you sure? Did anybody watch Raw this week? No. Not really. I think she but came back on Raw this week. what I hear, she's still gone, maybe. Really? I thought so. Okay, so Loki just came in and fucking kicked Tom Lawler's elbow. Oh. Or kicked your arm. Hey, what are you going to do about you guys it? genuine opinion, <clears throat> uh, or opinion, you opinion's not a word, on this Loki guy? Fuck him. Okay. Don't like him. Okay. You know, sir? No. Me too. I don't like him. Yeah. And I'm surprised he has a job if he really did what he did, but yeah, here he is. I mean, I know he didn't really do what he did, but at the same time, fuck that guy. He's a stiff worker. He's a fucking asshole in the back. Just kind of fuck him, you know? Sure. <laughs> I meant more the issue of the ear thing specifically, but I mean... Uh, now, the ear thing, I think it's just yeah. a whole, the whole thing is a work. Yeah, it, it, it looks like they're working it to me too. Just Wait, so... People were calling for his fucking head, like, get this fucking guy out of here. But then the dude who it happened with, they've been going back and forth on 
Twitter, and it seems pretty uh, so worky is, to me. So is Swerve supposed to be... That's what I'm saying. Did he just make a swerve, and now he's with them? Let's the find out. I wasn't paying attention. Crew. I'm so sorry. Uh, Promotions El Dorado or Low whatever. Low-key like shouting instructions to him. I set him up for you. I set him up for you. Yeah. Furnish him. him. Fuck his face. They all love that. Put the lotion Ow. In the basket. I feel like her character needs to be more cold looking. I thought that was the only Lo- thing she had. Like, was her one cold look. Emotionless. Well... She's got a Cruella DeVille look to her tonight. If she would stay like that and not keep overly emotionally <laughs> responding like she is. Consuela DeVille. <laughs> Love like that's against... <laughs> oh, no, no. I stare. I stare. That's good stuff, dude. That's... That's good stuff. <laughs> no, no. I stand on the <laughs> runway. I stand on the runway. No, no, you work for me, no. Well, you, well, you know, uh, Consuela wants all the gold, so lock your jewelry box when she comes over to clean. <laughs> don't buy, don't give her the lemon pledge. <laughs> oh, no, boy. Oh, he tapped. Filthy Tom wins, even with a broken arm. I'm surprised Loki didn't run in there and start ripping his ear out. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, you know, if he does, he ain't going to lose his job. <laughs> All right. Mm. Winner, this smelly motherfucker right here. God damn, he stinks. <laughs> Ref's like, this is the worst part. I don't want to raise his arm. Oh, you should have seen the face of Swerve. I seen it. <laughs> I'd seen it. I seen it. I seen it. It's that look of fear. He's penetrating. Oh, yeah. I thought He's I was penetrating. Of, holy crap, this stinks. <laughs> it's MLW Fusion Fright Night. Spin the wheel to make the deal. Jimmy Havoc versus Sammy Callahan. I've got the same also, kind of fun. LA it's Park. called Fonty McFonterson. <laughs> it really is. I'll show you guys later. Los Angeles Park versus PC. <laughs> <laughs> it's Los Angeles and Pico. De Gallo. <laughs> Pico de Gallo versus Los, Los Angeles, Angeles Park. Park. It's in rec. Damn, that Tom Lawler's pass. Why, Tom? Why do you refuse to take a shower? Well, I'll tell you, Snoop Dogg's daughter. It's because I ain't got time for showers. I ain't got time for work. All I do is get better. <laughs> because because a videotape costs money. And if I don't hurry up and cut this promo now, we got to pay the camera guys extra. Yeah. And I ain't going to shower after because that's lost time on the road getting me to the motel. Why are we still using tape and haven't gone digital? We don't have the money. <laughs> yeah. We're that fucking broke. Do you know how much a GoPro costs these days? Goddamn. <laughs> I'm, I'm just using my handy cam VHS until I'm surprised. It's big. It's not the fucking. Man, I can't believe it. a federation out there where it's just two GoPros. Camera and cameras and. Two guys wearing GoPros on their heads in a minute. <laughs> Just walking around watching the match, and that's the game we're winning. <laughs> the actual wrestlers are wearing GoPros. Uh, camera A, could you quit looking at your balls when you scratch them? <laughs> I okay. need to go okay. blind on the ball. While you didn't look at your balls that time, we could still see your fingers come up as you sniff them. <laughs> <laughs> Very nice. Could you could you maybe and hold him in a little closer? MLW twenty seven. Now that's a watch along war where we said about two or three things about the show we were watching. Yeah, more or less just kind of reaction, just a ooh here and there. So uh, yeah, that's it for MLW. We're out of time. <laughs> ah, stole it from you. The tape machines are rolling. All right.
right. This is our additional bonus watch along bonus. segment. Uh, there's a UK promotion called Progress, which I was not aware of until this a few days ago, when the pay-per-view popped up on WatchWrestling.in. So I figured I was on a wrestling roll. I had been enjoying wrestling all week, and I had the time, so I gave it a watch. And I'm glad I did. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to kind of go over the recap as much as I have while we are watching... The match between Paul Robinson and Jimmy Havoc. This is a no disqualification grudge match. Uh, the reason we chose this one is because uh, it, it's a true Japanese style hardcore match, which you don't get too many of them these days. And uh, I just, it's hard to watch at times. And oh, I just <laughs> love that. If you can make your sh- shit hard to watch, I'll keep watching. Know what I mean? <laughs> so I was well, like, why did you quit watching? You guys gotta check this out. That so. doesn't make any sense because why did you quit watching tables. Raw? No, that's <laughs> unwatchable. <laughs> There's a difference. Hard to watch means wow, these guys are really hurting each other. Unwatchable is wow, they sure do like Roman Reigns. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Roman Reigns. Hey, gee whiz, you know, what do you know about quality tables? Uh, know anywhere that this isn't that, that match. That's those? a different match. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We're not watching the TLC match. Uh, Are we going to talk about... Mm-hmm. Aries Incorporated made those tables. <laughs> Aries Inc. No selling. Indeed. Try our special n- n- no-sell tables. Uh, On sale, no-sell tables. What? So Okay, what you're going to want to do, people, to watch along this with us, and you're probably, if you're not already familiar with this website we talk about all the time, you're about to have your initial venture to it, because you, you have to go to watchwrestling.in. And when you do that, you'll see on the home page, if you scroll down a little bit, uh, Progress part Wrestling, part three. Hello Wembley. You're going to click on Hello Wembley. And once you're in there, you're going to click on Part 2 and go to 25 minutes exactly. So I know that's a lot of instructions. I'm going to give you a minute to catch up here. That's long enough. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, but what if they're really slow? Well, th- th- yep. then they can pause the podcast. Yep. We're, we're, at pause tw- we're at 25 minutes exactly on part two, and we're going to click play. Oh, wait. No, we're not until I bring the volume all the way down. Oh, it's already all. Okay. We're, we're going to click play in 418, 419, 420. Hey, I said to... You no all can sound. clearly see the volume was all the way down, right? That was not my fault. The website was being a dick. But anyway. Whatever. It looked like you're fuck up to me. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> Appreciate the backup, bro. And there's no video for to prove my case or anything, so it's like I'm just douched on that one. <laughs> okay, here is Paul. Uh, what the fuck is his name? <laughs> Robinson. I keep wanting to say Hamilton for some reason, and I don't even think that's a person. <coughs> there's no Paul Hamiltons in the whole world. Yeah, let's see what Google has to say this about is, that. <laughs> no, I'm sure there is, dude. Come on, <laughs> uh, Paul Robinson in the ring. I don't know anything else about him other than this match, but that's all I need Paul to know. Hamilton. This guy's a beast. <laughs> all right, let me see that later. I seem to have misplaced mine. It's right mm. in front of your oh. knee. Munchos dude, Garcia's. How could we forget that Paul Hamilton was a fucking political figure who died? In 1816. Oh, my bad. Who doesn't remember fucking Paul Hamilton? Well, look, I get it. We all do. Don't I, act naive. I forgot for a second. Take it easy. I'm not that stupid. And he's not related <coughs> to the most famous Hamilton, Alexander Hamilton. <coughs> and here is your white friend, Jimmy Havoc. <coughs> See, I would recognize <coughs> Jimmy there. Yes. He's, Even uh, though he's... Paler than usual. He's all powdered up. I think that's to highlight the blood. I'm not sure if he's going for some <laughs> sort of powder effect. He's he's more powdered up than Paul Hamilton's wig. He's more powdered up than New Jack before a match. <laughs> I'll give that a minute to sink in. <laughs> while you he's more powdered mind. up than every mirror at uh, Studio 54. <laughs> Now all we gotta do is locate the what spot and we're good. <laughs> kind of gets you by the poo-poo, doesn't it? Because he's been rolled in flour, nobody. 
<laughs> yeah, I just realized my man come walking out of the ring with an axe. Oh yeah, an actual axe. I mean, fuck y'all. I want to watch not, this now. Not just uh, axe <laughs> handle. Kidding. I'm not sure it comes into play or not, but I mean, it, with this match, you wouldn't. I wouldn't. I wouldn't put yeah. it past anybody. You did say Japanese. <laughs> <coughs> no, no, it's the real thing. These guys don't play. You'll see. It's legit. Oh yeah. Then where's the exploding turnbuckles? Yeah. I don't... I just like how they have the money to fund an actual axe, whereas WWE just had axe handles. <laughs> it wasn't in the budget to fund axes, just axe handles. Well, you see, that was in the 90s when there was a war going on, and metal was precious, and so you couldn't just use... No, it wasn't. That was like a yeah, week like, or two like ago. Three or four weeks ago, and the fucking shield come out with axe handles. I tried, Vince. Oh, it looks like What's-His-Nuts pissed himself. Jimmy Havoc. It's just the shadow, but it looks like he pissed himself. What's his nuts? <laughs> I can't remember the name of his nuts. What was it? <laughs> What's his nuts? Yeah, that one always makes me laugh. Everybody's always throwing their toilet paper. Some of it's clean, some of it's extremely uh, dirty. Some dude, of these people need to see the doctor. They're streamers. You know, like German porn videos? Like on the internet? <clears throat> all right, come on, Jimmy. Yeah, yeah they the, can all run for the axe. If I was gonna say anything cool about the matches, dude, they fell just on the start axe. off slow, but then they get their asses in gear. I think it had to because they had a half hour and they can't do what they're about to do for a full half hour. They <laughs> fucking bleed, bleed out <laughs> exactly. So yeah, it starts a little. On the slow side for what you'd expect. Commentators, Glenn Joseph and Callum Leslie. You know, this is a good point, or a good portion of the, or, damn it, a good point in the show where I want? we could oh, it's do some door. listener questions and comments. But unfortunately, well, we we're not. Any of so, week. fuck people. That guy who had Send the us question something. last week was awesome. He should have... You know, you want to fucking hit us with another good question like that. That was a good. Uh, one. We were too stoned to get that in depth with it, unfortunately. I think my answer was just make it an old school Survivor series. Yeah. I think my answer was we're gonna need a lot of call ups if we're gonna make this thing happen right. <laughs> like, okay, how many NXT guys am I allowed if we're gonna do this thing? Anyway. Yeah, I didn't say anything about how I would do it. I just said we already know that there's probably going to be a fucking Team Angle versus Team Corbin match. Eh, he fucking cracked Jimmy Havoc in the head with the thing. It flew up in the air, came down, and hit him in the head. And then he grabbed his head, and Jimmy just no-sold the shit the whole time. And the crowd popped, too, but you didn't hear that part, but they liked it. Albert wants you. <sighs> All right, well, I'm not going to, like, <laughs> go into detail, but I am going to kind of run down what was on this particular event just in case anybody's like what the fuck is progress wrestling and what do they got going on because when i read the card that's what made me want to check it out so right I, yeah it's like oh well, wow it's actually a lot in of back the head. people will probably know some of the names mm-hmm. yep I like jimmy havoc so the show opened up not so much paul hamilton mark haskins versus matt riddle King of all bros. I'm sure some people know who Matt Riddle is. He used to be a UFC guy and an ass yeah. kicker and got hurt and, and had to retire the, from that, but went on to do a, this. As thing. we saw on Twitter and everything, <coughs> part of the new class of NXT. Sure. <laughs> and along it, with some <coughs> nearly eight foot tall guy. Nice. Who's standing in the back row with. Oh man, what's his name from ROH that just got put over there? Mm. <laughs> man. He's got the crazy black Oof. makeup under the eyes. The fucking uh, ironing board ain't pre- providing any kind of fucking cushion. Now, anyway, this <laughs> is Matt Riddle's last independent appearance before going to NXT or his last contracted his last appearance before officially being under contract is what I was trying to say Hmm. so that's kind of like kind of a big deal to some people I guess 
It's his last name. Oh, shit. Was that a fucking barbed wire wrapped bat? Indeed it was. Oh, yes. And it actually does things, too. There were, it's actual barbed wire. Oh, yeah. He just took a shot to the fucking, across the stomach with it's it. It's not the fake kind. It's the kind that hurts you when you get poked with it. <laughs> <laughs> just saying, sometimes they just get all bendy. Kind. But this kind is not fake. Kind. This shit comes complete with tetanus. <laughs> yes. Hope you're up to date, Jimmy. I had no shots. <laughs> yeah. Ooh. I ain't afraid of hepatitis. <coughs> He's like, not on the nipple, mate. <laughs> anyway, uh... <coughs> Just got that pissed. I don't know if I should even... T- like give the results just in case people are gonna go and watch. Yeah, let's thing. not give the results on this one because they're not needed. I mean, on any of them. Oh. Just kind of want to run down the card because it's a good card. Uh, hmm. Up next, they have a triple threat match for the women's title between Ginny, spelled J I N N Y, which I believe is a reference to genies. Anyway. Uh, against Tony Storm and against Millie McKenzie. And uh, I'd watch it if I was you guys. <laughs> then we have the Progress Atlas Division title match. So I don't know what that means. If it's like heavyweights or something, what the hell is Atlas? But anyway, that's uh, Trent Seven against... Doug Williams, who's a really rough looking older dude, and I don't mean like he Yeah, looks I think like he he's actually just uh announced his whatever. retirement or whatever. He looks like he would kick the shit out of you is what I meant. Oh yeah, he's an old school dude. Yeah, it's a pretty Kinda like Regal. sweet match too, so I, I would recommend watching that one. That leads us into this ridiculous shit we're watching right now. I won't say anything else about it other than watch it. Right. Uh the, don't we have Sorry, a, That's Martin the point of this segment, really. Your name. After that a tag team championship match but I skipped it because it's literally like Ooh, 10 teams and I'm like I am watching that bullshit huh. I don't, because I didn't really recognize too many of the names and I was like I'm out so I skipped right to Ilya Dragunov versus Pete fucking Dunn does anybody know who no <laughs> Ilya Dragunov is no well no. I hope we see him a hell of a lot more that guy is fucking badass he simply won't die Watch that match and watch that guy wrestle. He's a fucking beast. <laughs> He's a bad motherfucker is what's in my notes. Uh, Mark Andrews against Eddie Dennis in a tables, ladders, and chairs match. Whereas we m- mentioned earlier, the clear winner in that match is the fucking tables. <laughs> yes. I made a ton of notes about it because I thought we were going to possibly Man, that's... watch along or even talk about it more but I won't ruin anything just go and watch that match if you like to see shit that fucking hurts we mentioned that Mark Andrews guy again yeah the wrestler of the week <laughs> yeah no shit and then it closes out with Walter who is the champion the world heavyweight champion against Tyler Bate Tyler Bates, Tyler Bates. Walter is clumsy and really dangerous looking to me. And I'm watching him like, God, he's going to fucking kill. <laughs> he's going to kill a motherfucker one day. And that, and almost as if on cue, the announcers are like, yeah, he's the champion here and in a different promotion. And he's their head trainer. Yay. I'm like, oh my god, this <laughs> is a guy that's teaching people how to wrestle, and he's like super dangerous. Anyway, this fucking guy. Watch it though; it's a good match. Anyway, uh, yeah, that's the card, and I, I don't fuck. They went all out, and it was some good stuff. Each one of the matches is like a half hour long. Everyone works their balls off. Jim Cornette would hate this hardcore match, but I'll tell you what, I didn't. Uh-huh. Hey, look at how easy they broke a table already. Isn't that funny? Uh, it was a door, but yeah. No. Whatever. Well, that's was, probably the difference. In it was like one of those doors break. you have in that fucking trailer, so it's really right. not impressive at all. It's like <laughs> cardboard on the inside. I've, I've shit. Broke those by fucking sneezing when I'm closing it. 
<laughs> Go on and shut the bedroom door. Shoo! Oh. oh. Staple gun to the dick. <laughs> no staple gun to the dick. That's not cool. Yeah, I'm sure that by now... See, I haven't kind of all the way been paying attention because I don't even know... Oh, they haven't even got the light tubes out. Okay, yeah. No. There's still a lot more to come, folks. This is just getting warmed up. <clears throat> that dude is gushing. What, what, whatever he got hit with, he is leaking. Like splatters out of his head. Yeah. <clears throat> Quiet, like okay, here's where the madness yeah. begins. Oh. This is where it starts. This we'll start carving crazy. his yeah. back up. Yeah, that's not good, man. <laughs> well, you know, we're look at he is just uh, blap, 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 something that's catching totally our attention. Bleeding. Yeah. So you know, we're watching something mm-hmm. pretty good. Yeah, it's the anticipation. Just like, oh, okay, <laughs> like fuck, a whole bunch oh, of fucked up shit's gonna go down now. Be a bunch of thumbtacks. Yep. Make sure you get them all out of there. He's <coughs> so fucking bad. He had to use the bag to get his fucking eyes. <coughs> Jesus. <coughs> These fucking guys. Uh, I European guess they couldn't go and get the exploding turnbuckle. Uh, <laughs> oh, he slid. Well he it. slid. It's never fun to slide on those. <laughs> no. Oh, and then he rolls them again before the pin. Look at the look on his face. Like, oh, ah! my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. And so it begins, dude. It doesn't get any better, man. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll still never, never <sighs> forget the fi- look on uh, Randy Orton's face when Mick Foley threw his ass into the fucking tax. He went to go for the RKO and Mick Foley countered and just fucking tossed him into the thumbtacks. <laughs> Randy's eyes popped wide fucking open. Oh, shit! <laughs> I ain't felt no shit like that before. Well, I'll tell you oh, what. I, I have the unfortunate pleasure of having had a couple in my knee before because I leaned down on them. Yeah. J- just like two or three of them. And fuck that, dude. It <laughs> hurt so bad. And I was like, are you fucking kidding me? And these guys... The whole rest of this match is in thumbtacks, by the way. And I, yeah, I see that. I mean, uh, that's just how it goes. <laughs> Once thumbtacks are there, it's like you peed in the pool. You ain't getting the pee out. It's in there. <laughs> so, so who's the lighting sponsor on this? Am I right? Uh, yeah. Thank God. Yeah, no shit. Light tubes galore. <laughs> Progress, hello, Wembley. Oh, three of them. Sponsored right there. by Phillips. He's got three. I thought that was a shot at the lighting in the ring, because oh. the lighting in the ring is poor, in my opinion. Oh, okay. I, I, I just assumed he meant all the giant-ass light bulbs. I think that is what he meant. Okay. <laughs> I was the one well, going more on the negative he's side. Got three of them attached ah! uh, to uh, Oh, he did have three yeah. of them attached mm-hmm. to each other. Now they're attached to fucking Jimmy's back. Ow. <laughs> he's like, hold on, I have to get the shit out of my back. Yeah. We told this lighting. <laughs> hold <company> this. <laughs> I'm gonna give d- him a good five ah! minutes. <laughs> I'm going to fuck myself up, fucking oh, you up. Oh, oh. Hold oh. on to this. Oh, he had like oh a God damn it. Red line across his whole body where that thing exploded in all the different places and cut him. <laughs> oh, oh, come oh. on. Really? A head to the tax, dude? You uh, motherfuckers are crazy. Indeed they are. Oh. You have to love pain, apparently, to fucking do this shit. Oh, yeah. This is a special kind of person that can do a match like this for sure. That's why you don't see him too much anymore. This used to be like how they did it over in Japan. When, yeah, I think, whenever you watch anything, it was always like this. But goddamn, I think Dean Ambrose used to do shit like this when he was. Um, oh goddamn! I can't remember what, what his name used to be in the Indies. I want to say he did like a couple of death matches or whatever. It's awesome, man. I believe it though. He's a fucking crazy dude, and he seems like he's a genuine tough guy. <laughs> Oh, it's going to bug the shit out of me. I I should know the damn name. Whatever. Fuck it. (laughs) John Moxley. As soon as I gave up, it came to me. (laughs) John Moxley. God 
Damn, man. Oh, Keep knees, 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 knees. Oh. No, those knees are right in tax. I know how that feels. Oh, oh God. Exploding oh. glass in the face. Somebody Fuck the knees. Dude. Yeah, n n now it ain't your biggest concern. That happened fast. Jeez. And those things filled with, like, you know, like mercury that you're not supposed to inhale. They're just breaking them over each other's face. I can't remember the name of that move, but he just bumped like a motherfucker on more tax, dude. Oh, that ended the match. Oh, it's in his leg. It's right in his knee, and he's moving it. So it's tearing shit up in there a little bit. You know what it is. Ow, ow, ow. Oh. God damn it. And watching him stand up after that. So Jimmy Harry gets the win. Hey. Man, I don't want to keep walking around here. Fuck this. I want out. <laughs> Did anyone Get really me away win this in this ring. match? I mean, holy cow, dude. I mean, awesome shit, but uh. Uh-huh. I think the other guy definitely took the worst of it. So it's kind of fitting that he lost. <clears throat> they still gets the finger. Fuck you. <coughs> oh, that might have been cashed. <laughs> that might have been the <clears throat> coup de gras. <laughs> now he's taking bites out of one of the lights. Whatever lighting company that was, they got their sh fair share of promotion. I'll assume it was GE. <laughs> They bring good things to light. That's like an 80s tagline that no one's going to remember. So Yeah, I don't remember that shit. Now everyone knows I'm 82 years old. <clears throat> the old bastard. And then there's that guy like, sure, I can walk, kind of. Mm -hmm. Check it out. <clears throat> I got this, yo. Nailing it. Anyway, I move. It hurts. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying not to shit myself. I don't try feel not to so good. <laughs> Hold the shit in. Clinch! Clinch! Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Look at the back. Good uh -huh. Oh. He's like, oh, fuck. Incline. Uh. Going down. God. He's still got tax in him and shit. That's why he's walking like that. Get him out. Uh. Jesus. Oh. Okay, right. well, there, there was, was that. that. I hope everyone. Uh, Held your cookies the whole time, if you know what I'm saying. Dude, I fucking love that, man. Those <laughs> fucking guys worth their ass off for us. He... I didn't, for, didn't care for the held your cookies thing, that's all. Uh, <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, the, the, that's the kind of match that Jim Cornette would despise, but I really appreciate the effort and the fucking pain threshold required to do shit like that, and especially right. to do it for our entertainment. That's nuts, man. Those fucking guys are crazy. Yeah, there's no way they made enough money to do that. Right. Yeah. What exactly is the right amount to pay for something like that? <laughs> what exactly is the scale for something like that? I mean, to be fair, there's not like they're going... I guess it looks like they did all right, this crowd. I don't know how often they do shows like this or what they usually draw, but... I don't either. If you're not drawing anybody, it doesn't matter how good you are or what you're doing. If you're not drawing anybody... You know, kind of don't get any money. Speaking of crowd, <laughs> it's worth noting that the Progress Wrestling crowd is a fucking popping ass hardcore crowd that watched the whole show was into it. Yeah, it's and, a fucking uh, UK crowd. They seem to love everything. Yeah, Chad and I were discussing UK crowds against American <clears throat> crowds last night, and I think we agree that the UK crowds react, and the American crowds are just waiting for cues because yep. they want to be in on the cool chant to say. Yeah. And you can really tell the difference because when a really cool fucking moves happen, the energy's real. Yeah, they're fucking parrots, basically. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <coughs> and I enjoy the UK crowd more. I don't know if they're just... It's it's because they're smarter than us, just like fucking Canada, man. <laughs> they're smarter than us. We're a dumbass country. It's the bottom of the page and we'll fucking fall for anything. We're a bunch of sheep. <laughs> Speaking of the UK, the, uh, I mean, Roman Reigns is getting pops every now and then now. That's fucking all you need to know. I don't know if that was a one-time venue or if that's going to be their, like their fucking uh, full sale or some shit for U U UK, but I thought the venue was pretty cool. For, if you look at the background for NXT UK. Yeah, me too. I really, really liked it. I was, I was like, that's kind of sweet. I hope they're there every week, actually. All right. Kind of looked like... Uh, ECW arena a little bit. Yeah, a little bit. I mean, like a more uh, clean <laughs> version of it, but yeah. Alright, anyway, that's some 
Progress Wrestling for you. Let's get to some shout outs here. I, I want to start us off because I only got one. Uh, quick shout out to Tim Commons. Uh, he's won two random fucking giveaways in. One had like 58 entries and the other one had over like 80 or what the hell ever. And he won two times. Huh. And the it's entry nuts. or the w- w- winner was chosen with an internet randomizer. So it ain't like there's any cheating or nepotism or nothing. The guy just won two different fucking times. So congratulations, my friend. That's fucking crazy. Yeah, agreed. <laughs> play the lottery. Yeah, no shit. Go play the lottery, bro. All right, I'm going to just get away from the mic now because I got no other shout-outs for Facebook this week. That's Facebook.com slash The High Marks <laughs> or at The High Marks if you're already on Facebook. And uh, all we got from Twitter, we got a couple of likes from last week's show from uh, Those Wrestling Girls. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> and Ocho Wrestling Podcast. Thank you for the like. We appreciate it. <clears throat> Head over and check them out. On Twitter, you know, I'm sure you can find that between those wrestling girls and Ocho Wrestling Podcast. And that's uh, Ocho, t- you can. <laughs> oh, great. <laughs> <clears throat> Ocho. That's uh, twitter.com backslash uh, the high marks or at the high marks. On Instagram, wrestling's high marks. The Graham. We've Get got on a few the green followers. Daniel Trentuno. Sup? To feel a sports. F- James J T <laughs> Jacoby. What's up, J J T J? <laughs> to be the man comic. And Bama Fisher five twenty two. Oh, busy week on Instagram. Roll Tide. <laughs> Roll Tide. Yep, yep. All right. <laughs> but, yeah. <clears throat> and that concludes our high energy shout outs. <laughs> yeah. then, oh, fuck me. Obviously, the uh, regulars are other podcasters. Uh, Suplex City Limits. Absolutely. Uh, Wrestling Soup. Uh, Jason Solomon. Solomonster Sounds Off. THT Podcast. <laughs> what does THC mean? Did you ever get that worked out? The hot tag. Nice. Very nice. I like that. Yep. And then, uh, Yuck Nasty and Dog Baby at Get in the Corner. And of course, Don Tony and Kevin Castle. I only got mainstream podcast shout outs. I'm not even, I'm not even going to say them. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I think episode 27 is about cash. It sounds like it is the way I'm grunting and groaning over <laughs> here. Yeah, this might require some editing. Yeah, it's getting a little late. But yeah, let's put it into it. Episode 27 is about cashed. Uh, you know, thanks for listening. Give us a retweet or a like for a shout out. Leave us any questions or comments on any of the pages YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, even Instagram. Even criticisms. We'll even take criticisms. I mean, uh, we might even read them on the show unless it's like too close to the bone, bro. Alright, cut too deep. <laughs> No, throw it at us for real. Go ahead. <laughs> I fear nothing. All right. This is the last hit saved for Carl Breton and Alouski. <laughs> Jackpot! I knew there was something special about you, and I'm not just saying that because you're a whore. But you are a total whore. I'll even kill the fucking fan. So yeah, I should probably put the microphone near me then if we're going to actually be doing a thing. As far as I know, it's rolling and all that stuff. <laughs> Camera rolling. Of course we hit the button and now we're like all done talking. We were just having like some serious shit. <sighs> no, really though. I mean, like no one should ever leave NXT. Of course not. That's, it doesn't... I'm afraid It's of... not a promotion. The only one that's like still kind of survived and even here towards the end right before he disappeared with an injury was... Was uh, Kevin Owens? He's the only one that came up and kind of like actually held a little bit of momentum the entire time. Everybody else has been fucked. Nakamura's fucking. Yeah, sure, he's still the U.S. champion, but who gives a shit? Yeah, they killed him. 
<laughs> yeah, when you the make somebody irrelevant come now. in there it's that's like, been out of the ring for forever and beat him. Yeah, <laughs> like. Which I thought was fucking hilarious because like, it took a minute to dawn on me. I'm like, well, at least it's not all fucking American Cup. And then it's like, oh, wait. Ray was born <laughs> in California. Ray He's not even actually Mexican. My bad. All American. <laughs> yeah, he's from the uh, 619 area code. San Diego, and then, of course, Rusev didn't make it either. So. Nope. Because they definitely had to get that all USA. I'm, I'm okay with that just because it got Miz in there. Yeah, here's our all white Imperial World Cup we're going to bring to you. Okay. <laughs> okay. Bow oh, down to uh, the. Bow down so to the king did we of sucking talk up everybody's about spotlight. Last week, about the whole. If Asuka could speak English, maybe they'd give her a push. <laughs> well, not specifically deal. that, but we said something about Asuka, I think. Yeah, did I, I want to say I heard something over the week about. Wait, just one more thing Vince on the World Cup. Actually, said he won't pu- push her because of it. I don't know if this is like slightly racisty, but it's the kind of thing that Vince McMahon would do, and that could have been a good idea if they had like no white dudes in it. <laughs> Instead all of all people from foreign lands. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. And like actually made it like a World Cup competition. I think that would have actually been pretty awesome. But it's more no, like the America, America. No, Cup. that that makes too much fucking. Non-racist sense. <laughs> it's like the opposite. Of, it. It's like the opposite of the World Cup of soccer. It's like the America soccer team wasn't good enough to make it, so we just made our own fucking wrestling thing for right, it. Right. Well, Mysterio, it's the World Cup, but no one else is invited. One of those lucha guys from <laughs> Mexico. Uh, uh, Vince, he was born in California. <laughs> Have him right out on a lawnmower. <laughs> Close enough, damn it. Very again with the lawnmower thing. <laughs> Who was that, that again? Is some, Chavo like, amazingly, and... impressively racist shit, though, that they were able to just get make, away with. He was able to swing it, you know? <laughs> okay, mm. fair enough. I haven't seen Roman Reigns in, like, six weeks. I'm loving it. Like, I didn't even bother to skim through the... Did I skim through any of Raw? I didn't. Hmm. But I don't feel like that's being irresponsible. I feel like it's, like... It's, I don't know, protest, almost. Yeah. Yeah, we do a wrestling show, but that don't mean I have to watch Raw. In fact, it's, I think Raw's more than covered by everyone else. Already unprofessional as fuck over here. Ding! Mm. As soon as you hit record. didn't put his phone on silent. All right, motherfucker. Now people want to talk to me? Like I got friends and shit. So, so everybody... I just did it myself. I made the noise go off to give off the illusion that people talk to me. Does anybody have a compendium of our picks? from last week that we can uh, no I, I just remember some of them <laughs> a couple of mine I can't remember alright well I guess I don't matter that much I'll remember them probably as we go along okay and this is 27 yeah yes 27 does, any, does anybody want to bring us in you want me to do it wrestling's high marks yes episode yes 27 yes Shut up.